Hello again guys, welcome to another Cupidon tutorial. Now in this video I'm here with something really 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 fun for you guys. Now this tutorial is just meant for fun and also I'm going to be using this to explain the if, the elif and the else conditions in Python. Now I want to briefly apologize for my tutorials like 2, 3 or 4 tutorials ago. My voice wasn't really that clear and I hope that this might help you understand if statement because I noticed that since it wasn't clear enough a lot of you guys may have not understood what I explained there so I'm just really doing this tutorial again to just let you guys know that you can really learn from this a lot and it's not just all about fun so without, without much wasting time let's just get right into it now the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is that I have wrote a weather story here to help you guys understand what I'm talking about now it says hello everyone I'm here with a story for you guys and this is the story, you see it when I run the code and I've made a variable here with the inputs and it asks this, the question how is it outside let's just add um, let's just leave it this way and it says if the weather is rainy it should do this line of code and it says else if that's else if the weather is sunny it should do this line of code it also says here else print this if the condition meets anything other than this don't worry guys after the after this tutorial I am sure that you guys will understand what I'm talking about now I am going to run this code but before that you notice that I have written two lines of code here and this is something I forgot to mention in my previous tutorials when writing if statements and conditions and all that you cannot just use only one line of code you can also use multiple lines of code in fact you can even write a whole program underneath this condition here and underneath this one you can write like a thousand lines of code or more any amount you like you can also write underneath this so it's not just writing a line of code and just saying that's all or writing print or whatever you can write anything not just print I'm just using this to just explain to you guys how it's done so let's run our code and let me tell you let me just tell you guys the story okay let's see it says weather story hello everyone I'm here with a story for you guys. Once upon a time, someone is texting me. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Fabs. She was kind, heartwarming, nice, good looking, but the thing was that she was very allergic to one of the most precious things of nature, rain. But Desmond was always there as a friend, and while the others left to play, he would say, he would head out and come back with a jacket because he cared for Fabs. One day Fab asked, or one day Fabs asked, how is it outside? And I'm gonna say it's rainy. And let's see the output. It says, it's rainy lad, I can't go out, I'll get cold. So that's it. This is the rain I whimped up. It's just a, a backslash, as you can see here. And that's it. So let's just test our code. As you can see, I wrote this if the weather is rainy. So this is the weather and I try to input this into this part. So that's why it gave me the output. It's raining lad. I can't go out. Now let's see what would happen if I imputed sunny. Let's see. Let me run my code and it's loading up. Let's say sunny. Let's see what Fabs would say. She says it feels good to head out. Ah, the fresh air, the birds, I love it all. Uh, I did not see any emoji or whatever as birds, so I had to use this. I don't know if this counts, but well, if you don't like it, get out. <laughs> and this can be stars, they are sun, because you can't have stars in daylight. Yeah, that's why I had to call them sun. So this is it. So I'm just going to click enter, so my code exists. Now, as you can see here, this is the weather, and this is equal to sunny. So the code runs if this happens so when I type in sunny in this part this line of code runs now this rainy runs because I type in rainy and this all this has a run but when I type in sunny this one so what's going to happen when I type something else let's see what happened let's just type in something like um, cloudy cloudy would do cloudy and it says I am scared they see I can't go out because I'm not sure what's out there please can you hold my hands now I had to do this because once you see that there is nothing else in this condition like I said here there are two conditions I programmed Python to read and since it's something else 
Python does not understand that because I did not tell it to just, you know, do whatever when it's something else. So it's going to tell you that this line of code, all this line of code I've written here, all of them right here from this start to this point, all of them will definitely run because they are under, under the else. So once a code runs and you program it to do something when it's under the if, it does it. And if it tells it to do something else, if it does it, but when it's anything other than those two, it's else. So that's how to run the if, elif, and else in Python, guys. Guys, I hope this tutorial helped you guys a lot. I really, really do because I really had a hard time learning if, else, and elf, elif in my own time because it was really complicated then. But when I got to learn it and understand it, I had to use it a lot because is one of the most important things important things when programming in python and i really really hope this helped you guys so please please if this helped you guys leave a like subscribe to this channel and hopefully more videos to come will help you understand more thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial